All right, guys, these are the new Sony WF-1000 XM5s, and today we're going to take a close look at them versus the AirPods Pro 2 to see which one I think is superior. Starting off with the price, the XM5 is $299, which is $100 more than the AirPods Pro, because you can find these off of Amazon right now for $199. This is already a big difference between these two earbuds, but is the WF-1000 XM5 really worth the extra money? Well, let's go ahead and take a closer look. When it comes to the overall design, the XM5 charging case has a slightly different build than the previous WF-1000 XM4. The top is more rounded, which I think gives them a better feel in the hand, but we still do have this flat bottom, whereas the AirPods Pro are obviously completely round, which I think does feel a little bit better to hold overall, even though it's not a big deal. The case of the AirPods Pro are also just a tiny bit thinner, if you can see right here. Let that focus in, they're just a tiny bit smaller, but overall they are a very similar size. In terms of the earbuds themselves, the XM5 have a new updated design that is actually 25% smaller and 20% lighter, which is a huge upgrade for me because I can't wear bulky earbuds, they just don't stay in my ears well, and they look kind of funky because my ears are so small. This is something I actually love about the AirPods Pro because they stick out further vertically instead of horizontally, so it doesn't look like they're sticking way out of my ears. And I'll go ahead and put the earbuds on so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Got the AirPods Pro, the XM5, as you can see, the XM5 sticks out just a little bit further than the AirPods Pro. And with my ears, I think that the AirPods Pro look just a little bit better because of that. I do want to mention that the ear tips in these are super unique and almost have this memory foam feel to them, which conforms to the shape of your ear, and I think this is pretty sweet. Of course, they do have additional ear tip sizes as well to give you the best fit possible, just like the AirPods Pro. And I don't necessarily like the memory foam tips better than the silicone tips that we have in the AirPods Pro, but it's just cool to have something a little bit different. Now, in terms of the battery life, the XM5 has eight hours of playtime in the earbuds themselves with an additional 16 hours in the charging case and the AirPods Pro has six hours of listening time in the earbuds themselves and the charging case gives us an additional 24 hours of listening time. So this means that the XM5 actually has two more hours in the earbuds themselves and the AirPods Pro has eight more hours in the charging case. I think I would prefer to have better battery life in the earbuds themselves, so I do think the XM5 wins in the battery category for myself, even though the AirPods Pro does have quite a bit more battery life in the actual charging case. These do both have quick charge features, and with the XM5, just three minutes of charging gives us an additional hour of listening time, and with the AirPods Pro, we get that same hour of listening time with five minutes of charging, which is still really good. Now, both of these do have wireless charging as well, but do keep in mind that the AirPods Pro will actually charge with your MagSafe wireless chargers and also your Apple Watch chargers, whereas obviously these aren't an Apple product, so the XM5s will only work with regular wireless chargers. Let's go ahead and talk about the sound quality though, because both of these earbuds sound great. After listening to tons of different genres and comparing these super consistently, here's what I've learned. The AirPods Pro have a bit more punchy bass and the vocals are more pronounced, versus with the XM5, the instruments are more pronounced and the bass is a little bit more smooth. They both sound very good and it's difficult to choose one over the other, but if I had to pick one, I probably would end up going with the AirPods Pro just because I love that punchy bass. Now I'm not an audiophile, so I don't know a ton about sound and all of the mechanics that produce it, but if I had to pick, I probably would choose the AirPods Pro. Now the cool thing with the XM5 is you can actually use the Sony headphones app that will allow you to slightly change the audio based on your personal preference with the EQ setting. The AirPods Pro 2 do have a couple tuning settings as well, but they don't get quite as specific as the XM5. You can see here that we can switch between different presets and you can also customize your own EQ with the XM5. When it comes to noise canceling, both of these earbuds absolutely crush it. I don't have a ton to say here about the noise canceling because these both do such a great job and the noise canceling in these are very similar but I do think that the XM5 takes out just a smidge more of that background noise. However, the transparency mode with the AirPods Pro sounds much more natural, so I would say that the AirPods Pro definitely wins with the transparency mode. If you aren't familiar with the transparency mode, it allows you to hear your surroundings, 
So for an example, if you're running and you have the transparency mode turned on, then you'll be able to hear your surroundings and different cars around you so you don't get hit. Or if you're at the gym, you can still have conversations with people while your earbuds are still in your ears. The XM5 still has a good transparency mode, but you can tell it's just a little bit more muffled versus with the AirPods Pro, they just sound so natural. Let's dive further into the features though, because both of these earbuds are packed with technology. As we just talked about, we have all of the normal things like the transparency mode and the noise canceling, but we also have spatial audio or 360 degree audio as it's called in the XM5. This feature makes the audio sound like it's playing all around you, hence the name 360 degree audio. But do remember you can only use this feature with audio that supports it and it's not super common yet but it is still fun to mess with. Both of these earbuds have tracking abilities as well. So with the AirPods Pro, if you have an iPhone, you will be able to use the Find My app to track the earbuds. And with the XM5, if you have an Android, then you can initially set these up to have that tracking option. I love being able to track these because if you ever lose them, then you can have the peace of mind that you will most likely be able to find them again. Something else that these have is automatic ear detection, which will automatically pause your music when you take the earbuds out of your ears and then it will resume your music once again once you put the earbuds back in. This is super nice if for whatever reason you take out one of your earbuds and then later on put it back in and your music resumes to where it left off. Something that isn't always thought about with earbuds though is how good the microphone quality is. You can use both the AirPods Pro and the XM5 for calls and of course I have an audio test for you guys as well so we will go ahead and play that. All right, I am now talking through the microphone on the AirPods Pro, and as you can tell, the quality is good, but not great. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button as it helps the channel more than you'd think. And here is the audio of the Sony WF-1000XM5. Definitely let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below this video and if you think the audio sounds better in these versus the AirPods Pro. Moving on, both of these earbuds are water resistant with the IPX4 certification, so if they get splashed by water or if you sweat a lot at the gym, then you don't have to worry about them getting damaged. Of course, just make sure not to fully submerge them. When it comes to the controls, both of these have touch sensors which work incredibly well. Simply by pressing the stem of the AirPods, you can pause or play your music, if you press the stem twice, you can skip to the next song. If you press it three times, you can go back to the previous song. And if you actually press and hold the stem, you'll be able to switch between the active noise canceling and the transparency mode. The XM5 has all of the same controls, but of course, since there's not a stem, you just tap on the outside of the earbuds to do all of the same stuff. And final thoughts here, what earbuds do I think would be the best for yourself? I personally have an iPhone, so I have been using the AirPods Pro for quite some time now. If you have an Android, I would say definitely go with the XM5s even though they cost more because you will have access to all of the same features that the AirPods Pro only gives to iOS users. So I personally think if you have an iPhone, you should go with the AirPods. If you have an Android, you should go with the XM5 or you could get something a bit cheaper than the XM5 like the Beats Studio Buds. Now, if you guys have any questions or thoughts about these earbuds, definitely comment down below because I'd love to hear what you think. Also, if you wanna check out my full in-depth review of the AirPods Pro, you can check it out right here. With that being said, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.